now recording. Stephanie, tell us a little bit about who you are and how you got into insurance. So my name is Stephanie Snyder. I'm an agent with Liberty Mutual. I've been in insurance for the last 14 years and I got into insurance because I speak Spanish. So that was kind of like my, 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 I guess my foot in the door, right? With insurance is I bilingual Spanish. So I ended up working for State Farm and worked with them for a number of years, worked in claims and then had the opportunity to work in the Pacific Northwest and had a transfer Actually, I have a degree in social work, so I've always I've always wanted to help people and um, kind of found myself in a career in insurance. And in a way, I'm able to help people through their insurance, understanding their coverages, which is important, you know, helping people through a claim situation and really being able to help my community too. So that's kind of just how uh, my insurance career started. So obviously there's many types of insurances. Can you elaborate on the differences between car insurance and home insurance, which I imagine are obviously the two most common ones that people know about? Car insurance, I mean, everybody's gotta have car insurance on the road, but there's all types of um, car insurance that you need. It's definitely important to have the right protection for you the state mandates it, but a lot of times the state just mandates the very minimum coverage, which could get you in some trouble if there's a real serious car accident. So I always take the time to review the different types of coverage, whether it's liability for a more um, older vehicle, um, if you need medical insurance or personal injury protection on the policy. And then if you have a newer vehicle that's more valuable and you need the comprehensive collision, um, also known as the full coverage, part of your of your policy. So I just take the time to really understand what the customer needs, understanding what the value of the car is and what their personal situation is so I can tailor a policy specific to their situation. Homeowners insurance, um, a lot of folks will, along with their auto, bundle their homeowners insurance, which we have available, covers the house, covers not only the house, but all of your stuff inside the house also covers the liability on the property living elsewhere if something happens in your home there's a big you know claim of fire or flood um, also covers your medical medical expenses if somebody gets injured we also offer renters insurance so uh, if you rent a, an apartment or whatever it is even if you're living with somebody right in their house rent free you want to make sure you have renters insurance to cover your personal contents in the home but outside of the home so if you happen to get I leave things in your car and they get stolen. It'll cover cover you there. Also, your liability elsewhere too for the renter's insurance. If you happen to get into a, a legal bind of some kind, that's great. Right. It's really important, obviously, to have coverage whether for your car, your home, or when you're renting. You, whether it's home insurance when you buy your first home, which leads me to my next question: Is what should first-time home buyers know about the home insurance options? I feel like it's really important to understand the different elements. How do we come up with the specific coverage on covering your home? In addition to that, understanding what is and isn't covered, you know, is um, is the maintenance and just general wear and tear covered? Typically not, right? Um, understanding what your deductible is. I ran into a few customers that have a $10,000 deductible. Um, there's certain things that aren't covered or they're covered, but with specific limits like jewelry, firearms. So you have a $10,000, you know, engagement ring that would only be covered um, on most homeowners policies up to $2,500, which isn't enough. So I always go through those questions and that checklist to make sure that we're not underinsuring a policyholder or a customer because the last thing I want is that phone call where they didn't have sufficient coverage. Obviously, it's really important for folks to get the coverage that they need and want. There's so many options that it can be really confusing. Yes, very important. So I just, I walk them through the first coverage all the way to the last coverage and really um, get an understanding of what is covered. There's so many different types of policies that you can get. Like you can buy a regular home or you can buy a condo, right? The condo policy sometimes be a little more complicated and a few more steps that we have to go through to understand what is and isn't covered under your master association policy. Maybe the area that you live in, um, earthquakes or flood are a little more prevalent and that's something of concern. So we can always tailor your policy based off the needs in the area that you live in or the type of home that you're buying. Great, so share with us just a, 
a story about uh, a happy client, whether that's past or present. I recently helped a customer on the east side of the state, never met him, but a super, super awesome guy, you know, just kind of trying to find a really good rate on his insurance. We, we partner with a ton of credit unions and different companies all over the state. So I ended up connecting with him through uh, one of our credit unions that we partner with and he was looking for a better rate on his auto insurance which we worked through and I got him an excellent rate on his auto insurance and his homeowners he was a little hesitant um, a lot of times your homeowners insurance is bundled into your escrow account so folks are a little hesitant to move that away because they feel like it's going to be a lot of work but I was like you know you should really look into it figure out how much you're paying Call your mortgage company because they pay your hazard insurance. So just call them, figure out what they paid for the year. And then he called me back like two days later and he's like, Stephanie, I'm paying $3,000 a year for my homeowner's insurance. Oh my goodness. Uh, so I ended up finding him a rate under $1,000 for his homeowner's insurance. So I saved him over $2,000 on his homeowner's insurance. And I saved him a ton on his auto. So he was just so happy. It was over $200 in savings a year, um, well, $200 in savings a month, and um, a huge savings uh, overall for the whole year. So he was able to get that extra savings and you know, put it towards his children, and he was able to get life insurance. So just lots of stories like that. That's why I'm really into um, helping the client, right, especially right now during these times of struggle. It's really important for people to save money any which way they can. And it's also important to know that if they choose an insurance policy when they purchase a home, do they have to stick with it? No, they don't. Um, you're not stuck with that carrier. A lot of times you may end up going with your homeowner's insurance that you have your auto insurance with. But that's what's nice about Liberty Mutual too, is sometimes that isn't the best fit. So. As an agent with Liberty, we also have the ability to write insurance with other companies, which is awesome. So, you know, whether it be traveler's insurance or um, home site, ASI, just a ton of different carriers, which is nice for me because I'm really able to find the best fit for the, that customer, the best coverage that they're looking for and the best rate. That's awesome. How options and saving money are two important things to know about these days, right? Absolutely, yeah. So what's the difference? You talked a little bit about the condominium versus the home insurance options. Can you explain a little bit about the differences between the two? Absolutely. So when you purchase a home, you're purchasing a standalone structure. So that policy includes coverage for the structure itself. Um, not typically the parcel of land because the land will always be there no matter what, you know, if the house was completely lost in a fire that continues covers your contents, of course, your liability for lawsuits and judgments that might occur there at the property, medical expenses, a loss of services if you can't live in the home and have to live elsewhere. So the condo insurance is very similar with the difference that your structure is attached to several different structures. So a lot of times, uh, you know, I would say if you're paying two, over two to $300 in HOA fees, more than likely your condo policy or your condo association has a what's called a master policy. That master policy can sometimes be in the millions or two millions, three millions upwards of that in coverage, which basically will cover all of the units. Um, so when you when you buy into the uh, the condo and the HOA, that HOA policy will cover the majority of your needs. That can vary from policy to policy. So I really do my due diligence. I reach out to the HOA, figure out what their deductible is, what their coverage levels are, to make sure that you get like kind quality replacement for all of everything that's gone in for the betterment and improvements for each unit. And then I tailor the policy to what up to the amount of the deductible. So that sometimes that's 10, 20, 30, $40,000. So before your HOA policy will actually kick into effect, you need to at least have enough protection to get you to that point. So we go ahead and tailor it towards that. And then of course, everything else, right? Your contents, your liability, your medical payments, and then you choose your deductible. It also covers a living expenses also where if something happens. Obviously, it can be stressful for anyone going through, whether it's a fire or having to live somewhere else temporarily, and it's good to know if the insurance policy will cover that in case something like that does happen. Yes, we've had, unfortunately, a few situations where folks had 
complete home fires or flooding, you know, pipe burst in their home. They had to, you know, gut the flooring, gut the drywall. It's very uncomfortable to live in your home during that period of time. And so it's nice to be able to know that your insurance company is going to be there for you, cover your living expenses elsewhere while those repairs are being taken care of for you. So if people have more questions, how can they reach out to you? You can always reach out to me on my work cell phone. That's actually the best way because I have it with me at all times. So that number is 253-886-0637. I have a Stephanie Snyder Liberty Mutual uh, Facebook page. And you can always email me, which is my first name, Stephanie, S-T-E-P-H-A-N-I-E dot snyder s-n-y-d-e-r at libertymutual.com great wonderful thank you so much for taking the time to share your knowledge and experience with folks and i hope people will contact you with any further insurance questions thank you so much for your time and uh, giving me this opportunity to to interview my pleasure thank you